Seven and a half. Five minutes, seven and a half. Five minutes, seven and a half, and now ten. Seven and a half, and now ten. Seven and a half, and 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 
Oh, that's Robert. He's doing the catalog over there. Got all kinds of fun stuff. You never know what you're going to find. Um, back over here, we've got the uh, mid-century. There's a whole set, still brand new. Shannon Crystal, Dublin set. Very nice set. Uh, these, uh, this is a set that was given to the consigner. It's a spode trade winds. Who gave her this set, Robert? There's another set over here. That was... Given to her by... Given to her by Ted Turney. How exciting is that? Oh. You know, a little piece of history and a little bit of fun stuff going on. Here is a piece of dance. Those are, you know, it's funny, the stainless steel is bringing a lot of money. Uh, back up in here, these are some early cruise line range pieces. Canadian Pacific, Pacific Swedish American line, Northern German line, Hamburg line. Very cool. Um, teak, the mid-century modern stuff here. There's some all early yachting books. Again, some really cool stuff when it comes to um, ship models. To spend the winter in St. Petersburg, the Sunshine City, that's a porcelain piece. You can hear Robert in the back, he's doing the catalog, we're trying to get it finished. Keep your eyes on the website and um, your email, we will try to get the catalog finished by tomorrow with photographs of everything. Look at those cool political pieces there. A couple of mid-centuries had a really neat Danish couple that we picked up some things from that actually brought things over with them. I'm going to back it up, look at these. Oklahoma. Tanny. Lots of postcards. Lots and lots of postcards, Four guys. Lots of postcards. Pond, pond, Going cellar, back through some more mid-century pieces. This piece right here is actually a bottles. Dillingham Milo Bomb. Um, it's an antique mid-century. Very cool piece. Very, very cool. Dillingham, there you go. Got the whiskey barrel down there. Some vintage snowshoes. Now check out these airplanes. Are these not the coolest framed prints you ever saw? Now we got the guy that brought back all the stuff from Egypt um, with the old doors and there's a set right there. Very cool. We got some doors. We have some um, metal pieces. Again, mid-century. There's some Royal Copenhagen things. This is cool. I like this. Um, there's a puzzle. The United States map puzzle. Look how cool that is. And then we're going to do that with the jigsaw puzzle and the Sea Raiders. Um, check out this uh, roll top teak native um, mid century. Backing it up, you know, I stirrer. God, I can't even imagine drinking all those cocktails that came with all those stirrers. Lots of cool paper, guys. I know you can't even go through. Those are all stamps. That's another stamp book there. Um, some more patches through here. Some military yeah, stuff. There's a giant flag. We've got one of the big, big giant flags. we got some smaller flags. we got some flags that are over there that are actually part of. Um, some ship things, great Ooh. chandelier through here. Again, some nice oils on Ooh, oils on boards, oils on canvas. Look at that nice ship. With um, Fresno lenses. The deeds that were wrought by you, Clipper ship, stand out in your past <laughs> and star. <laughs> There's, and I love this Chris Craft because my dad had an old Chris Craft. Reminded me of that nice little tea cart. Drop leaf. Got some early wicker over here. Look at the pulleys down there. Oh my gosh! Every time I turn around, there's something else that I forgot to talk about. A uh, nice little drop leaf table. Check out this nautical thing. Now, if you were setting up a beach place, this would be cool to set up some of this art and some of these things. Nice wicker, some sailing ships. Again, back through here, some maps, um, propeller, big old rope piece. Back over here again, some more of the lights, the ship's lights. This is really cool. That was, and when it was harbored in the St. Peter's, I think in the St. Pete Harbor, right, Robert? Is that what you said? There's somebody's naval log. Very cool. Just never know what you're going to find when you come over here to Dudley's because we're always pulling in fresh estate stuff. Some more wonderful pieces there. There's a Western Union Naval Observatory time. A nautical piece, 50, a nice 50, piece of Majelica right there, just all set up. These are some early pieces. naval pea coats. This is a wonderful piece um, right here. You're talking about this being in a Hitchcock set. It's a table with six chairs, got two captain's chairs, got extra leaves, got a glass top for part of it, has a matching cabinet. What did she say she paid for this cabinet when she bought it back when? $2,000 in 1991. $2,000 in 1991. Can you imagine? $2,200 for table and chairs. $2,200 for the table and chairs. Heat, repeat, sitting on a fence. 
Okay, there you go. Sitting there, some more ships, lights, another tall painted rocker. Nice Victorian piece over here. You can't hardly see it because we got these leaves on the front of it, but just a beautiful drop front piece, all burled. Got the early wavy glass in there, some more ships models. This is the little ones there, some more lights. Fisherman's balls. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to giggle. Here we go, it's all painted just, um, <laughs> this is what I need, I need a martini, yeah. Uh, early, early pieces of furniture. There's several really wonderful early pieces of furniture like this beautiful little desk that we've got right here burled around. This is a contemporary china cabinet, but big, beautiful piece. Nice little piece here. Pull it out. It has the writing piece right on the top. Pull it on down. Look at that. Back it up. Camel back. And your beautiful sofa. Candles. Needlepoint. This is a great little desk. Look at the age on that. Just amazing. The glass is still inside of it. A pair of needlepoint seats there. Some East Lake pieces there. I'll come back around this way. I have to show you this one. Just absolutely craft, um, craft built piece right here. Bench made is what they called it, right? Bench made, just beautiful. Look at the work in that. Just a beautiful piece. Can you imagine such a thing? Just beautiful. I don't say anything about the lime green materials. Check out the lamp. Again, another early print, nautical print. Back in through here, we got some Royal Dalton plates and some crystal and etched crystal and. More Royal Dalton plates here, and oh, here's that for your new age lovers. So some lusterware, more porcelain here through here, and some portrait plates again. Another one, I'm going to back it up, back in through here. This is a beautiful china cabinet. Oh, I'm telling you, it's just a big old piece. Some more Royal Dalton plates back in through here. There we go. All right, so we're going to spin around. Hold on, everybody, because we're going to walk back through here. Oh, there's the other gun. Very cool. I'll get a little close. There we go. Coming through this way. Back again. Fireplace front. Really cool piece right here. That's some really early newsprint there. Whoopsie. Little settee. Very cute. Another early desk lift top right there. A little washstand. Again, some more nautical pieces. Just the coolest thing you ever saw. This is going to start a little bit early. He's going to run a table of uncatalogued items early. That's got some Fiesta wear. He's got some train things here. He's got a slot car set, a giant pressure cooker. Nobody get any ideas, some camera things. I mean, just a little bit of everything. Coming around this way, we have a player piano of all things. Player piano and a lot of rolls, ready to go. We had one of these growing up. It was great fun. And then if you want, you can have yourself a Pepsi. There's a Pepsi machine right there. Come back around here and we got a little mix of oriental and some contemporary pieces. These beautiful Windsor back rockers and chairs. There's silk carpets right there. Check out this piece. It's really nice. Got little feet down the bottom. Got a little camel hiding down here. Little camel. Got some pair of nice ladies rockers. They're real sweet. Some oriental pieces there. A nice pair. Oh, a nice wing back. It's got a wing back and the ladies low matching um, armless chair pieces there some jade coming around coming around contemporary set but another really nice dining room set it's got that wash totes and really nice these are danish dishes here world copenhagen needle point three folding screens nice little contemporary cabinet right there but it will take care and here's one of the one of the Grandfather clocks and Ethan Allen piece. Back it up, beep, 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 beep. Another piece of art up there, monkey piece there. Nice little folding table set. Other folding chairs. Look at this oriental based, beautiful china cab, um, dining room table, extra leaves, nice chairs. They're really, really tall, I can't see. Can you see? Look how pretty that is. Really tall screen, lots of panels, beautiful blind stitch through here, just wonderfully done. Some um, equine prints through there. Another Danish kind of gives you a little um, oriental feel, nice little clean line cabinet, some more pieces over here. Another blind stitch piece, look at how big this piece is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Isn't that beautiful? Another set of dishes, lots of sets of dishes, I'm telling you. It is just some days we just 
We don't have a single bedroom set, and so sometimes Royal Albert Bone China wins them. Isn't that pretty? Nice crystal. Lots of crystal. Nice little compote. So I'm going to work my way back and around and out. Nice little hand painted piece. Kind of cinnabar type lamp. And you got yourself some jade grapes. Look at there. Okay, I don't mean to get so close, but I'm like, back it up, back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Set the table. Stacking tables here. Now we're back over in the country, but we're really going to hit all the clocks first. Oh my goodness, look at them all. Another grandfather clock, a lot of wall hung clocks. Got stuff in the old early Underwood typewriter. Um, a utility tester. I'm not even sure what this is. This says an instructograph. <laughs> nice little wall hung piece there. Gingerbread clock. Another wall hung. These are really cool. Very colorful. Very German. Might be Portuguese. I don't know. Coming back through here. Neat bells. Got some stamps. Got some clamps. A little bit of everything. Where they ought to be. Must be a shoe stopper. Pepsi, some more clocks, cuckoo clocks, wall clocks, mantle clocks, dobo, lots of pewter, Dutch boy, white lead paint, anybody's in the paint business, that's a cool piece. And here's some more of those iron gates. Be really great in somebody's garden, or you can just use it on your front door. You make yourself your own set of gates. Find somebody that's a welder. My daddy used to call it his glue stick. He could put anything together with his glue stick. Aren't these piggies the cutest darn things you ever saw? Ta-da! Just too cute. Roll top desk for the kid. Now this is supposed to have been done. This is a very famous artist. Robert will give you all the information, I'm sure. Local artist. And this was a very expensive piece of art, fish art, when it was sent out. Look at all of the coral in there. Neat piece. There's some more copper art back through there. There's some um, really modern looking porcupine kind of stuff. Some early baskets, nice little high chair. Did I just get blurry? My apologies. I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna try to get out my way here. There's some coral singers. Christmas will be here before you know it. Lots of copper, and there's some longer burger baskets and a longer burger pitcher. There's some Jim Beams, lots of Jim Beams. There's some, oh, there's little nips. Cute little, look at that. Cast iron there. Oh, a bunch of cool cookie cutters. I love the cookie cutters. Some toys, some Beanie Babies, some more Crocs. Crocs, 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 Fire Engine, more Crocs up here, some more art up there. John Deere Coca-Cola and another, another cuckoo clock. Here we go. I'm going to go down here real quick. There's some tools. There's a pair of Schwinn Latours. Those are pretty cool. There's some other things there. And some carpets. Now he's got one, two, three, four, five, four or five carpets all rolled up that he's going to be selling. Those are pretty cool. And then one quick strip down through here. I think we might cut and paste and do this early, some early newspapers. If you're into Florida collectibles, these are all Florida plates. How cool is that? All Florida plates, all curly ones. There's a couple of hand-painted contemporary pieces, some trunks, some books. Um, this is a really neat folding chair and look at the country scale very nifty very nifty and then there's a trunk oops sorry there's a traveling workbench truck radio two more winchester box tables very cool kind of a victorian water pitcher two quest bags very cool so anyway that's what we got lots of stuff going on robert's still cataloging still lots of stuff um so be here preview starts at 10 the auction starts at one um, he might start a little bit early with his table lot. So, again, just a nice, wonderful variety of things. We look forward to seeing you. Keep your eyes peeled. Ah, don't forget the Jaguar. Isn't she beautiful back there? Um, keep your eyes peeled for the auctions. We just signed up a house in Citrus Springs. We have a couple of houses coming up that are in one house and one mobile in Oklahoma. We've got another one working in Lake Pensaki. So there's always something happening here at Dudley's Auctions, mainly real estate. Let us know if we can help you at all. Our job is to do the best we can for you. And I'm happy to just chat with you. Just give us a holler. Thanks so much. We'll see you on Sunday.